Washington is the whole Lone Star State. Broadcasting live from the home of Super Bowl 51, O'Shea 45. Okay, so our next guest, I often model myself after he, him on the, on the football field, How Heather. so, Sway? Because when was the last time you played? Oh, wow. In a few decades, uh, hip-hop okay. saved me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you, know, you know, how so is this, this, this man... Um, he, he was tough. Okay. He was resilient. Fair point. Uh, he sacrificed his good body. Good <laughs> he's good looking. Okay. Uh, uh, he's smart. Yes. Um, this guy in 12 NFL series, I was writing down accolades, over 8,000 yards rushing, mm. uh, f- over nearly 5,000 yards receiving, mm. over 5,000 yards on kickoff returns, uh, over 18,000 total combined net yards, ranking him second among the NFL's all-time leaders in total yardage. Amazing. Only played a game 4,000 yards three different ways, kickoff returns, rushing and receiving. Only player to have an 84-yard touchdown in, run in an 84-yard touchdown reception. In the same game. In the same game. Only player I know to knock somebody out in the MMA mixed martial arts tournament hey, in the you first give round. Credit, we better get I, out I'm of just that. saying, man, he's done a lot. Hey, I'm like, who the, are you talking the, about the, over the, there? I'm, I'm not talking about that. Herschel Walker, man. He's here with us, man. Yeah. Herschel. Hello there. Hey, man, how you doing, man? I'm We're, doing well. How you guys doing? Thank you for having me on. Man, it's great to be in Texas, man. And, and, and you know, Texas, they love you here, right? Oh, well, I, uh, only because I pay them a lot of money. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and then I got a lot of relatives here. That's, okay. That's who they are, the relatives. <laughs> Because cousin yeah. who wants something. They, they want something, yeah, right? Yeah, I always have them. Hey, I get relatives I don't even know coming up and say, you remember me, Uncle Herschel? Like, Uncle Herschel? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 man. Yeah. But do you still pay them? Uh, no. Okay. I give them a job. Though. Okay, there you go. Yeah, hey, 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 they leave when you give them a job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they, they work. They, oh, crap. They don't want to do that. You know, your your career, what you've done in your career off and, and, and off camera and on camera has been exceptional. We were just talking off the mic, Heather. You know, Herschel was from Georgia. Mm-hmm. Um, he said he's a so he's a cross between Little Richard and, and James Brown, right? Yes. And, and, uh, and you were talking about some of the work you do uh, with a lot of um, people who serve in our military. What is that? Well, you know, I have a program called Patriot Support, and I've been doing this for about eight years where mm-hmm. we uh, treat between uh, four to five to 5,000 soldiers a year. I'm at a base once a month anywhere in the world, downrange. I've been all over the world. Because, you know, we have young men and women that are going over to other places that they don't have bullets and bombs going off in their hometown. Mm-hmm. And they go over there and they save this country. The reason this country is what it is today is we got the best military in the world. Nothing to do with politicians, nothing to do with anything else. But we have young men and women that put in their life every day on the line for right, us. And that's right. I think we owe them something. And mm-hmm. what I can do is if I can tell them that, you know, there's no shame to ask for help. You know, when I was uh, when I got out of football, I developed an anger problem, and I didn't know what was going on with me. I didn't know what really had happened to me. But you know, when I was young, I was bullied. Mm-hmm. I was overweight. I used to have a speech impediment, and I overcame things. But overcoming things, I never dealt with the pain. Mm-hmm. So I used my pain as a coping mechanism through athletics and all those things there. But when I got out of sports, I didn't have that uh, outlet. Mm-hmm. So that outlet was going to be in my home or on the streets, and people thought I was crazy. Like I said, I've never drank, never taken a drug, and. I end up checking myself into that uh, behavior health hospital. You know, we call it crazy hospital, yeah, but yeah. HR and I say you can't call it crazy hospital. It's a behavior health hospital. Mm. And I was there for 30 days, and uh, I got out of that hospital, and people thought I was really, like, nuts. But then uh, when I got out of that hospital, I built three of the largest minority-owned companies in the world, in the United States. Mm-hmm. And I started uh, doing a lot of the MMA stuff, and I started doing all this. And I want to tell people, you know, when you're having a problem, what you got to do is get back up. Get back on that horse. You know, we've been blessed. Our Lord Jesus Christ said that mm-hmm. we have his DNA. Mm-hmm. But what we got to do is we got to have faith and we got to believe. And uh, we can't just always picking and calling people names. And that's what we do with our young military mm-hmm. men and women is we're calling them names and mm-hmm. thinking that they're not worthy. And I'm here to tell them that they are. They're mm-hmm. worthy because they're the reason that I have the uh, opportunities that I have today. Herschel Walker is here. I want to ask you a quick question. Mm-hmm. Um, uh Easy on the applause. All right. Um, <laughs> I know you did Celebrity Apprentice yes. season two. Was uh, it? Was it? Well, you know, to be honest, I uh, have no idea. But I yeah. get, I get to something being finished. Go okay, ahead. okay. So, uh, and then so Donald Trump is someone yes. you know. That's a friend. You're a supporter of uh, uh, President Trump. Well, uh, now, let me uh, tell you what's funny. Okay. You know, I've known Donald before he became the Donald. Yes. I started out with Donald Trump, and I tell everyone, little Donald, little Donald, and little Ivanka live with me during the summer. Okay. In a Disney World, Sea World, 
or any place Bronx Zoo that they went to was take. I took them to that, and and that's what I told people. I said I've known Donald since '82 in my life, and uh, wow. and, and I said, and people ask me. But then at the same time, during this election, you know, I'm known to Clinton as well. You know, yeah. I'm the, I have three plants in Silo Springs, Arkansas. So I've known both both groups. And, and I said, I don't support Donald because it's Donald. I support him because I've known the type of man he was and how he treated me. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I said, you know, people have to sit down with him. Sit down with him, just listen to him. I said, he says a lot of crazy things. And I said, if you listen to this man, he says those crazy things because Donald still think that uh, I can't let you know how I am. Mm -hmm. Because if I'm going to negotiate with you, and you know the certain type of guy I am, we're not going to get anything done. But if you think I'm going to come into that room and I'm this crazy guy, we're going to have to sit down and negotiate fairly, and you're going to—I can do a better deal for the United States. And that's why I told people I said I've known the man before he even became the Donald. Yeah, you know we were hanging out together. Mm -hmm. But what, so even folks who might be offended with some of his stance on. Um Women dis deciding what they want to do with their body, mm -hmm. or uh, or inclusiveness for people who are from a minority descent. Right. You know, there was big protests uh, against him. You know, winning this election. Um, what do you say to those folks? So you're not his spokesperson, but you're just somebody you know, that knows him. What I what I say to those people is, you know, guys, you know, I, I can understand that because we all what made this such a great thing is. People, we've had people to die to give us the right to express our opinion, and I think that's what is so great about it. But we have to remember this. There's been an election, and it got nothing to do with Herschel Walker, nothing to do with you, nothing to do with anyone else, that he won the election. Mm -hmm. And they said, well, he didn't win the popular vote. And I said, guys, just because in football you have the ball more than I have it, but I win by points, I still win the game. Mm -hmm. It got nothing to do with Donald Trump. What it has to do is we got to get rid of people in Congress. They got to change those laws. You know, one of the problems I tell people all the time is we've been electing new quarterbacks where we're keeping the same offensive line. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed we got the same Congress people that's always in there and mm -hmm. this country is in a mess? It's in a mess not because of our president, because one of the things I was upset with when Obama got elected his second year, before he was even elected, you mm -hmm. had people on the Republican side say, oh, well, I'm not going to go with this, I'm not going to go with how do you know what the man is going to do before you even get elected? Yeah. We need to get rid of clean house, as I call it. Get rid of some of these people in Congress mm -hmm. and clean house and get new people in because this is changing. Yeah. And I tell all of young people, we have to vote. I'm tired of listening to people saying, well, I didn't vote, but I, I well, if you didn't vote, how can you have an opinion? Mm -hmm. yeah. You need to vote if you got an opinion. But and I said, that's what we got to do. Okay. Herschel Walker is here, man. Uh, I appreciate it, man. You know. Because this is the, the country has been it's been such tumultuous times, um, but I just think people want to know have more insight on who. Well, who, yeah, I think one thing we have to know, and and this is for this country. You know, Donald Trump is our leader, and and probably and people say, Hershey you play football," but I said, guys, I'm I also was valedictorian in my class. I also yeah. was in the top one percent of my graduating class in college. Guys, one thing about it is, when I played with Troy Aikman. Yes. I didn't have to have dinner with Troy. I didn't, I didn't even have to like Troy, but I needed to block for him. Yeah. And I needed to express that, you know, Troy was my quarterback because if I go up against the Patriots or the Atlanta Falcons and I'm telling them I don't like Troy Aikman, they're going to play me a lot harder. Mm -hmm. And I said, guys, these are the countries that don't like us. I'm going to be honest, they don't like the United States because they, they think that we're privileged. Mm. So as long as we continue to have this little bickering between ourselves, it's going to be tougher on us. I said, if you don't like Donald Trump, <laughs> Let's get him out of office in four years. Yeah. Vote him out of office in four years. But right now, he's our president. So whether you like it or not, the man is around for a certain amount of time unless we can veto him out of it. Yeah. But I said right now it's not happening. So we got to support him even though he does stupid things sometimes. But yeah. I do stupid things. Yeah, what's the last stupid thing you did, Herschel Walker? The Tell last, us. last stupid thing I've done. You know, I was, uh, wait, let me think now. Yeah. I do so many stupid things. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You know, I do, and what's funny, I, you know, I'm up every morning. I don't sleep much. I don't eat much. Uh -huh. I eat one meal a day. Uh, you know, and oh. being from the South, I don't eat red meat anymore. I don't eat uh, fish. I eat soup and salad. And I had a honey bun last night. So that may have been something that was that stupid. But that, was, that was pretty good, though. Yeah, that's, yeah, a, that's, yeah. A, that's a pretty good. A honey bun and a Coke now. Nah, that, yeah. hey, oh, I'm in heaven. Coke. Yeah, 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 Coke, because, you know, you got to get rid of all those calories. Man, that was stupid. Yeah, that no, was no, stupid. I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah, I'm to think, I, you know, I, I know I've done something dumb. I just yeah, can't yeah, remember what it was. Yeah, man, that's how perfect you are. Herschel Walker. Yeah. We got we got uh, Randall Wade yeah. on the line from Chicago. What up, Randall? Hey, Randall. Yeah, and I'm glad you you taking my call. I'm, I'm, I've been trying so, so long to get through to you guys. I'm, 
All right. The fact that she on there. I got so much respect for Herschel Walker. I just as, as a, a man outside of just being a, a professional football player, just so much respect for him. I just wanted to, man, be thankful for him. He, he is powerful. He, he's not just a, a football player, but he's done so much just for his community. Yes. Yeah, that's that's. But, you know, it's important. You know, I, I got it from a great coach, uh, Tom Landry, once said, "If you take something out of society, put something back in." And you know, I'm going to be the first one to tell you. You know, I didn't get here by myself. I've been blessed. I had a mom and dad that they disciplined me. You know, mm-hmm. people can say that you don't believe in spankings, but I'm going to tell you, spanking kept me out of jail. Uh-huh. Uh, spankings uh-huh. kept me from taking mm-hmm. someone else's stuff that I knew it wasn't mine. And and I had a parent that it gave me the discipline. I had my Lord Jesus Christ, and I've been fortunate to have good coaches in front of me that are always leaders. Yeah. And so I said, I think that's what we got to do is uh, you got to give back. And, you know, I'm tired of listening to athletes or entertainers say that, you know, I'm not a role model. And I'm saying, you know, if you get a dollar from anyone, you're a role model. Uh-huh. Otherwise, give it back, you know, because you're out there on television. You're out there, and, and we have young people that are suffering today. And we won't take responsibility to help them. Mm-hmm. And it is our responsibility to reach back and help young people and encourage. And I, and I want to say encourage our young black men. Encourage them to say, guys, you are somebody. You know, I, I happen to watch a movie, and I forgot what it named. It was a, a 8 or 7 movie with Denzel. It was about apartheid. Uh-huh. And I felt guilty. I felt so guilty because I didn't know. And you know, I knew a little bit about it because I had studied it. But I didn't know how bad it was mm-hmm. until I saw the movie. And then I said, you know what? It is a shame that our young brothers and our young sisters don't realize what their fathers have gone through, what their mothers have gone through, that you're kings and you're queens. But mm-hmm. what you got to do, you got to bust your butt. Don't let anyone tell you that you're not. Mm-hmm. Right? And that's what I try to tell people. Don't let anyone tell you that you're not any good. And, and that's what you got to remember. Herschel Walker, man. All right. So listen, a uh, couple things I want to ask you about. You're, you're, you're an ambassador for um, Bellator, right? And Bellator is a mixed martial art league. Correct? Yes, yes. Okay, Bellator.com. I went to a Bellator fight because at one point, I believe, we at MTV2 was covering Bellator matches. Yes. Um, where can we find Bellator now? Uh, Bellator is on Spike TV. And uh-huh. a matter of fact, uh, February the 18th, Bellator has a fight coming on Spike at 9 o'clock uh, Eastern, uh, 8 o'clock Central. And they're going to have Matt Mitrione, who was an ex-football player, mm-hmm. played with the Giants and also was with the 49ers for like a coffee drink for a little bit. <laughs> and he's going to be fighting Fadar, which is a living legend. Uh-huh. And uh, two other guys on the card that's going to be interesting is a guy by the name of Josh Koscheck and Josh Thompson, who was my uh, training partner. But, you know, uh, after that, they're going to go to Bella, uh, Belarus, Bella, the Belarus, and they're going to be fighting in Ireland. And I'll tell you, Spike TV at 9 o'clock, and it's free. Nice. That's one thing that's, that's good. It's it is free. You don't yeah. have to pay anything to get it. So you uh, go to Spike TV on the 18th and watch Matt meet you on and uh, Fedor get it on. How does the Bellator top rank fighters, how do they match up with the UFC's top rank fighters? Well, uh, they're about the same. Well, one thing that I think is good, uh, is good for this sport, sometimes if a uh, UFC guy is not getting the money that he deserves, yeah. he's going to go over to Bellator and try to get it. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, Bellator now is starting to get the fighters that uh, the UFC has had some uh, problems with. Uh-huh. And they come over to Bellator. Scott Coker, who uh, now Viacon and had to take over Bellator, is doing such a great job. He's the one that got me in jo- involved in this sport. But, you know, you have Josh Thompson, who was a champion at the UFC. You have Josh Koscheck, who was a champion. Matt Mitrione, who's uh-huh. fighting against Fedor. Uh, you know, he fought in UFC for years, and he decided he wasn't getting paid enough there. So he came over to Bellator. And Fedor, who was considered one of the best fighters of all time, now is fighting there. Yeah. And, you know, Rampage Jackson and King Mo are going to be getting it on. Yeah, and, yeah. you know, Rampage Jackson, you know, have some older guys there. But one thing about Bellator, they got a lot of young fighters that's coming in and fighting. That's coming up. Okay, Herschel Walker. Yo, uh, do you guys want to say anything to him before he goes? You know what I wanted to ask you real quick? <laughs> Admittedly, I'm not a big football head. Well, don't worry, me neither. So here's the, oh. <laughs> you're, you're, you're gonna be shocked. I learned football from a book. A lot of people don't know. I never followed football. I don't even watch it today mm. on TV. And you know, people ask me who's gonna win the game, and I'm just guessing because you know I know Atlanta yeah. and stuff. But I, I don't watch football. I watch Judge Judy. Uh, I gotta get, I gotta get my law degree. And stuff. Judge Judy keeps you sharp. Yeah. He's the bomb, right? Judge Matthews over here, dog. Yeah. All right, go ahead. But I was gonna say, what do you think should be the etiquette for someone like me and others who are gonna be going into these households, having you know, entering these Super Bowl parties? 
Is it okay if I interject once in a while? Can I choose a team last minute? Like, how should I act? Hey, let me tell you, do whatever you want to do because let me tell you what, we're all couch potatoes that don't know what the crap we're talking about. <laughs> we're guessing when we're like <laughs> choosing a team. That's what I've done. I picked Atlanta because I'm from Georgia mm -hmm. and stuff, and I picked them to win the game, but that doesn't mean they're going to win. And I always tell people, <laughs> never bet on anything that eats. And if you eat, don't bet on it because you may have an upset stomach when you're playing. So that's why I said just, you know, it don't matter. You, you, the proper etiquette is is go in and act like everyone else. Talk okay. like you know what's going on. Okay. So they be don't loud and talk fast. That's you know, exactly they, the, the right. fellas are hitting the field right now. This is going to be an incredible game. Both sides, are, you know, I ain't right. saying shit yeah. right there. Excuse me, Bill. No, that's uh, okay. You don't serious. You, you don't I okay. can say that, right? Yeah, okay. Have you want to say something? <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to know what made you get into the hotel business. Well, you know, uh, about you know, I, I, I told you I have three of the largest minority -owned companies in the uh, United States. Mm -hmm. And I was very fortunate about a year and a half ago to ask to be in, uh, on a public traded board. Mm. And I went on to this public board, uh, Southerlies, and, uh, and uh, we all manage hotels and we build it. we're doing a lot of hotels in the South, trying to bring that Southern hospitality back. And because, you know, I, I, I said, I'm trying to be a Southern gentleman. Mm -hmm. You know, one thing my mom taught me, you know, my mom is a minister. I have two sisters as ministers that, you know, uh, men have to treat women uh, the right way. And we have a southern hospitality that we always gotta have. You know, you gotta open the door for a woman. You gotta never walk into a room in front of her. You know, my mom taught all my brothers and sisters that be, that's the way we were taught. Mm -hmm. So I wanna try to bring that southern hospitality back. Here in Houston, we own a Whitehall Hotel. Mm -hmm. And in Atlanta, we got the Georgia Terrace. So we, uh, we have a couple of hotels around the country. Herschel Walker, ladies nice. and gentlemen. Hey, man, thank you for coming by the hey, show. Thank you, guys. All right, February 18th, make sure you watch Spike TV, 9 p.m. Eastern on Saturday and see this um, on, this big fight, man. It's going to be Fader against uh, Matt Mitrion. All right, that's, uh, that's what's up. It's Sway in the Morning, only from Shea 45. <laughs>